Hi, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a rubber base gel and refill and I'm going to say goodbye to this gorgeous set that I like a lot. As you can see, there are no, there is no lifting. I have this set for two, three weeks. It was a refill. If you want to see how I did this set, you will have a link uh, on the right corner of the, of the screen. You can see it. And I will show you also the um, uh, beads that I'm going to use in this uh, video. And if you like my channel, please uh, follow, comment and uh, subscribe and tell me more what you want to see on, uh, on content. I have these beads that I'm going to use in this video, the coarse uh, ceramic bead, the sanding bead, uh, diamond bead and uh, another ceramic bead for cuticles uh, medium uh, grit. The buffer, the nail pusher and the cuticle, the cuticle pusher and the um, cuticle scissor. So I want to tell you a little bit about sanding beads. I was buying recently from AliExpress uh, three types of sanding beads, the 80 grit, the 150 grit and 240. Uh, I've been using the 150 grit. I find it amazing for lifting, to remove any lifting if you are having under nail or any, um, yeah, any lifting. I find it amazing and uh, the, um, the um, uh, 240 grit, I'm using it for pedicure. For this, this is for another video I will, uh, I will show you later on. So if you like my channel, please subscribe and let's go dig in this uh, video. Thank you. So let's dig in. I'm starting with uh, using the uh, ceramic quartz uh, bead at 15,000 speed on forward. I'm uh, removing the first layer of uh, gel color. Uh, the movement that I'm making is um, from up to down and from side wall to side wall. Um, and you can see it is very fast. When I'm working on the left hand, it is very fast. When I'm working on my right hand, which is dominant hand, oh, it's taking me forever. Same speed, same beat. It's taking me forever it's not removing that fast and i know that it's not a drill bit is the fact that um, uh, uh, it's more difficult to use it on uh, to use it on dominant hand i if you have also this problem or something just comment down below we'll have a community of people that are struggling doing their manicure on their dominant hand uh, I like the bit how it's taking out also the sticker and it's all well and you see how fast this goes very 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 fast I like it yes um, and uh, now I'm doing a voice over so I'm looking at the video maybe there are some gaps or something but I will not edit it I will let it as it is and let's see how what it happens okay i will do another video on the dominant hand how i'm doing the manicure uh, i have some videos in my playlist if you want to see them and i will do a new one and put a voice over so maybe it will be easier for you to to see the struggle and to understand what i'm saying now i'm working with the drill bit only over the nail okay not under only over i will explain you after I'm removing all the dust, which I like. I like this process of removing the dust. See how much dust is there. Amazing. Um, and I want to show you this beautiful tool. This I bought it from uh, AliExpress. Yes, from AliExpress I bought this one. It's amazing. This tool, you can just cut your nails with every length that you want. And you can see it has so many, so many, so many options. And uh, the cutter is amazing. Even if the nail it is bulky, it's still cutting perfectly. So all your nails, they will have the same side. After that, you just have to file uh, a little bit just to make them equal. But 
um, it's the new version of that clipper that we were using and you've seen also if you are following or if you see more of my videos you'll see that I was using the clipper but I was struggling many times though it's good to struggle at the, at the beginning not to jump in the easy easy things but this one is amazing amazing uh, so I'm doing the uh, cuticle pusher now which is not the cuticles that I'm pushing I'm pushing the eponychium but I'm not very good with terms I'm good with visual maybe that's why I don't put too much voiceover I'm showing you exactly what I'm doing to follow step by step so I'm just taking the skin the dead skin of the nail blade if I'm not taking this properly down once I'm uh, putting the base gel or the every layer base gel top coat color and whatever i'm putting there after two three days uh, it will create lifting so this is the most important part in prepping the nails that's why all the te nail technicians are telling you that the key is in prepping the nails is how you are prepping the nails so i'm keep pushing it uh, for myself, I'm doing it a little bit harder. It's depending on everyone's skin and everyone's tolerance to pain. To pain, I don't have any pain. And by the way, when I'm doing nails, I'm also watching a movie or something. So I'm not very focused, not very, uh, not paying too much attention. Uh, especially if it's a very nice scene. And you will see further on or in my also in my previous videos if you see that i'm getting a cut or something it's because i don't watch uh, i don't see what i'm doing there don't do like me okay uh, now i will uh, file the nails just a little bit uh, just to make them straight and to give them the shape that i want i will keep the same shape a uh, coffin coffin look it's important to take on the side also when you are cutting the when you are cutting the nail you are cutting from the size you have as well to file again the side walls to create the shape because the shape is changing it's becoming more bulky it will not look like a coffin I, I'm not sure if I made myself clear and please excuse me if the voiceover doesn't match with what I'm what you will see in the video but you will understand at some point okay um i'm using now the um, sanding bit that i was talking uh, telling you about at the beginning of the video the 150 grit which i love it it's amazing this one see how fast is taking all the lifting or any uh, yeah lifting yes you see there is a little bit lifting on this ringer it's taking it out immediately so i like it a lot and it doesn't create any burning or any rings of fire. I'm using it in forward at four or five thousand speed. Yes, four or five thousand speed, and uh, doesn't create even seven thousand speed. But this, when I'm working on my nails, because I know my tolerance, and it's not creating any burning, nothing. This is very good also for um, making the nail a little bit uh, equal. I mean smooth the surface okay it's not smoothing like the buffer but it's smoothing see there i had a little bit of lifting so i'm trying to remove it with the with the sanding bit and it's successful now as you can see i didn't enter too much in the um, um, size of the nails i mean uh, how thick it is the nail at the at the end the, the length of the nail i didn't enter now but you will see it later on how i do this part okay so i'm hoping it will be finished soon this part i don't know if the voiceover now is matching with what i'm seeing but i'm at the pointer now okay so again we are dusting off and see how my nails are looking okay I'm using now the drill bit for cuticles. This is one of the drill bits that is used in Russian manicure. So I've been trying to do Russian manicure on myself, but 
I do not have the perfect cuticles for Russian manicure. If you have been watching videos for Russian manicure, you've seen that nice cuticle that is, uh, is going up and you just perfectly cut it. With myself, I'm not able to do this 100% on all the nails. So it's me. It's not the technique that I'm using. This cuticle, this drill bit, it is very good for lifting the um, cuticle uh, up and to create that space to, to trim it. You can see that I'm using it at 45 degrees almost or almost parallel with the nail. It is a little bit pointy, but not that pointy. I mean, you cannot cut yourself with it. Okay. Uh, in this video, I'm using it in um, forward motion. I'm using it and at uh, 3, 4,000, 5,000 uh, speed. And I'm doing now the forward. I'm doing half and half. But I have something new that I will show in other videos. Okay? So stay tuned because I'm upgrading the technique and I'm changing it and everything is coming new, 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 new because we have to improve ourselves. Now I'm doing it in reverse and I'm doing the right side of the uh, nail plate. You see how much still it is there, how much uh, that skin is still there? Okay, that one has to go. That is under... Uh, under Iponicum, yes, under Iponicum, something like this is called, okay? So please uh, just ignore the fact that I'm not using the perfect terms, okay? Um, you have to remove everything that it is under that Iponicum, okay? So it will, um, you will be able uh, after that to cut it. Okay. And when I feel that it is good enough and this is how you feel it, you feel it that you see that there are no white spots or small cute, small skin um, glued on the skin, on the nail plate, sorry. So when I'm happy with the result, I will use the buffer. This is also a buffer that I bought it from Shane. I bought it. Sheen or Shine or Sheen. How is it spelled? I don't know. Okay. I know how it's spelled. I don't know how it's called. Okay. Sheen. So um, I bought it, this ones from there and I'm very happy with them. You know, one side, one side it is uh, more coarse and the other side it is more gentle. Um, I think the other side, the side that I'm not using, it is very good on natural nail. If you are doing natural manicure, natural nail, classic manicure, it is very good, that one. I've tried. So now I'm taking off any left skin that is there or any left lifting. And the purpose of using the buffer is to smooth the, uh, the, the nail plate, is to equalize all the gel that is there. Can you understand what I'm saying? When you are touching with your nails and you see that the nail plate is smooth, doesn't have any bumps, means that it's fine. You can go for the, for the, for the next step. This scissor, this cuticle scissor, I bought it from Stucklets. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so bad with with names and brands. Stucklets, Stocklets, something like this. I don't know. Okay. If you want, I will write everything in description. It's much better. Okay. I will write all in description. I, uh, I bought it from there and it is a very good one. This one is also the one that you are using in Russian manicure. Because it has a curved tip, you can use it to be very close to cuticle, depending on the way that you're holding it. And it is not creating any cut and it's taking exactly the, the, the skin that needs to be taken. Okay. So now when I'm doing this process, instead of looking 
what I'm doing there, I'm watching a movie. So most probably I will do some cut somewhere for sure because my my cut my cuticles are sensitive. So if I'm doing the manicure every two three weeks, you can see that there is no not too much uh, dead skin, not too much cuticle build up there. Okay, it is not. So being like this, I forcing and I'm going to cut more than I should. Especially because I'm looking at the movie. I mean, the movie is much more important than my nails. So, this one, the pointer, eh, the pointer, if you can look there, it has a little bit of red. So, that before, some manicures ago, I had a cut there. Okay? So it's still visible. Hey, when you see like this in nails or in other people or even in yours or something, just don't go too deep, okay? Don't force yourself. Um, it's better to prevent any cut. Anyway, my tools are sanitized and disinfected and everything, so I don't have any issue. But on other people, it's better to, to be careful, okay? Blood is blood anyway. If it happens, it happens. Nothing, it will be an issue only if you didn't disinfect your tools. So why am I using now this drill bit? Is because I've, I cut it what I needed to cut with the cuticle, but there, uh, with the cuticle scissor, but there is still a little bit left, which I could see it only when I cut the excess. There is still a little bit left under the eponychium, okay? So that's why I'm going with the drill and when I'm going with the drill bit again, I'm going very uh, in very short motions and gentle. Okay. I'm using now this, um, this is the ceramic bit. I like it, this one. After I'm finishing the cuticles, oh, and I didn't cut myself in this video. Oh, no, I still see at the middle, middle, I force it, there is, middle, I have a, I have a dot. Okay, this, uh, this uh, ceramic bit, uh, I'm using it just to smooth out the, the skin around the nails, okay? Uh, now, this uh, ceramic bit, medium grit. I like to use it under nails to create that curve and to smooth it out somehow to make it an equal bridge, equal area between the growth nail, the nail that grow, grew under and the extension. And at the same time, I'm also thinning the tip of the nail. What I'm, you see, I'm doing in C, in like it's a upside down U, let's say, motion, okay? So I'll make a curve under and thinning it out. I'm thinning it out only at the tip. So I'm not touching to thin it out where is the stress point, okay? There I'm going under and I'm removing, here I'm removing on the, pinky i'm removing from last time because i forgot last time in my last manicure i forgot it and it was looking ugly so you can see yeah sometimes the drill is going up and down because again maybe it's a a very important scene in this movie okay and um I'm using this uh, drill bit, I'm using it at uh, 4,000 4, RPM, something like this, so it's fine. You see how much, how thick it was the nail there, this um, thumb, and now I thin it out exactly at the tip and you will see how nice it's looking after. Oh. Okay, you see now that curve. Yes, exactly this I was talking about, this curve. Yes, 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 yes. Now removing all the dust, everything. 
I'm using this nail file 180 by uh, 100 by 180 uh, just to um, define the shape sometimes on the side walls just to not be bulky um, on the middle finger and yeah on the middle finger I usually have this issue but now it is on the ringer okay now let's dig in the application we finished with the prep we are doing the application I'm using uh, the every time used one born pretty primer bond two in one I'm using a thin layer and immediately I'm going with the rubber base this rubber base what it is rubber base is something more sticky than a base gel how do you use it I put one thin layer and I don't cure it okay one thin layer I'm trying to not touch the cuticle the eponychium area okay after I'm laying one thin I don't know why the is blurry my camera is blurring because I'm very close to it okay I'm taking one bead of this um, this uh, base gel and I'm placing it from the top as close as possible from the cuticles eponychium cuticles whatever you understand guys okay I'm placing it at the top and I'm dragging it down to in equal motions to create that apex of the construction that stress point and uh, after I'm happy with it I will turn the nail just to make sure that it is equal the nail it has yes equal amount everywhere when I'm happy with the result and I should be happy very fast because this one this uh, rubber gel is uh, liquid I mean it's going from side to side depending on how you keep your nail normally the nail the finger you should keep it from uh, down like you are doing the acrylics okay you have to keep it down and don't bend it on the left or don't bend it on the right because the product the liquid it will go more on the right or more on the left depending on which side you bend it so you will have to cure it immediately after when you cure it put your hand straight in the lamp for 60 seconds i can add more product if i want normally you have to add it from the top but if I have very less product at the end of the tip, I'm adding from the tip to top, to top, yes. So, yeah, you can, okay, I will talk a little bit about this rubber gel. So, the bottle that I'm using is not uh, the brand that I'm using. The bottle is one um, old Born Pretty uh, bottle from the primer and uh, I was putting in it. I will show you maybe in another video the bottle for uh, for this rubber base um, it's a M share brand I bought it from Aliexpress and it's a very good one I was shocked it's curing very fast uh, it stays strong um, I like it yeah I like I like the texture of it it's easy to work with and it's sticky it's very sticky this layer you see is like glass if you look at the pinky now it's looking exactly like glass like i put top coat on it but i didn't put okay so let's watch the process um and let's see i will keep talking now okay i'm dragging it down i'm on the middle finger i'm dragging it all down and i'm taking care of the side walls the side walls are very important because especially where is the stress point if you don't put enough product where is the stress point the nail will break from there okay it has high chances after i'm putting it upside down you cannot see what i see when i put it upside down okay uh, i'm looking to be straight for all the product to be equal and there is another reason for being upside down 
the product will accumulate in the middle of the nail from all the length of the nail in the middle so you it will create a natural apex after this you can put whatever color you want two coats and top coat and finish but as you all know from all my videos i'm doing in this part only the prep and the refill in the second part i'm doing the um, design now on middle finger you see that i i think i hold the finger on the uh, right side and uh, the product became more bulky there so i'm using the alcohol with the acetone to take the shine off and a nail file to remove the bulk okay when i'm happy with it i will stop for sure you see how i'm holding the nail file just to remove the bulk only that one it will not affect the application of the rubber base okay i find it useful uh, the combination of acetone with uh, alcohol called cleanser but i'm not using cleanser on my nails so that's why now i put i dip the the tissue in one uh, in uh, acetone and after that in alcohol and uh, isopropyl alcohol and i removed the um, sticky layer and this is the final product final product for prep and refill okay it's looking nice and i like this shine by the way i like this shine it's looking like it has top coat on it see how nice it is this rubber base it is something uh, something interesting yes it is another another level for nails so if you liked my channel and if you like my not my channel my okay my channel my video please subscribe follow and um, do all the steps i'm posting videos every week so i will see you here with more 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 content thank you have a nice day bye bye